The Black Sea is a body of water and marginal sea of the Atlantic Ocean between Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, and Western Asia. It is supplied by a number of major rivers, such as the Danube, Dnieper, Southern Bug, Dniester, Don, and the Rioni. About a third of Europe drains into the Black Sea, including the countries of Austria, Belarus, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czechia, Georgia, Germany, Hungary, Moldova, Poland, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Turkey and Ukraine. The Black Sea has an area of 436,400 square kilometers, 168,500 square miles, not including the Sea of Azov, a maximum depth of 2,212 meters, 7,257 feet, and a volume of 547,000 cubic kilometers, 131,000 cu mi. It is constrained by the Pontic Mountains to the south, Caucasus Mountains to the east, Crimean Mountains to the north, Stranza to the southwest, Dobrogea Plateau to the northwest, and features a wide shelf to the northwest. The longest east-west extent is about 1,175 kilometers (730 miles). Important cities along the coast include Batumi, Burgas, Constanza, Giresun, Istanbul, Kerch, Novorossiysk, Odessa, Ordu, Poti, Rize, Samsun, Sevastopol, Sochi, Sokomi, Trabzon, Varna, Yalta, and Zonguldak. The Black Sea has a positive water balance, that is, a net outflow of water 300 cubic kilometers 72 cu mi per year through the Bosphorus and the Dardanelles into the Aegean Sea. Mediterranean water flows into the Black Sea as part of a two-way hydrological exchange. The Black Sea outflow is cooler and less saline, and floats over the warm, more saline Mediterranean inflow, as a result of differences in density caused by differences in salinity, leading to a significant anoxic layer well below the surface waters. The Black Sea drains into the Mediterranean Sea, via the Aegean Sea and various straits, and is navigable to the Atlantic Ocean. The Bosphorus Strait connects it to the Sea of Marmara, and the Strait of the Dardanelles connects that sea to the Aegean Sea region of the Mediterranean. These waters separate Eastern Europe, the Caucasus and Western Asia. The Black Sea is also connected to the Sea of Azov by the Strait of Kerch. The water level has varied significantly. Due to these variations in the water level in the basin, the surrounding shelf and associated aprons have sometimes been land. At certain critical water levels it is possible for connections with surrounding water bodies to become established. It is through the most active of these connective routes, the Turkish Straits, that the Black Sea joins the World Ocean. When this hydrological link is not present, the Black Sea is an endoric basin, operating independently of the global ocean system, like the Caspian Sea for example. Currently the Black Sea water level is relatively high, thus water is being exchanged with the Mediterranean. The Turkish Straits connect the Black Sea with the Aegean Sea, and comprise the Bosphorus, the Sea of Marmara and the Dardanelles. Topic. Extent Topic. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Black Sea as follows On the southwest. The northeastern limit of the Sea of Marmara a line joining Cape Rumilly with Cape Anatoly 41 degrees 13. In, in the Kerch Strait. A line joining Cape Tequil and Cape Panagia 45 degrees 02. N. Topic. Population Topic. Topic. Name Topic. Topic. Modern names Topic. Current names of the sea are usually equivalents of the English name, Black Sea including these given in the countries bordering the sea Abkhazian, Amson Ika IPA, MN Junk Adig, Hi Suse IPA, X T. Essa Bulgarian, Cerno Mor IPA, Tro Mo R Crimean Tatar, Kara Deniz Kara Deniz IPA, Quardiz Georgian, Shavi Zigva IPA, VZV Laz and Mingrelian, Ucha Zuga IPA, Ut Zu, or simply Zuga, IPA, Zu. C. Romanian, Marea Negra, pronounced Mare, Ane, R. Listen. Russian, Cerno Mor E, IPA, Torn Mor. Turkish, Karadanis, IPA, Ka Adanis. 
Ukrainian, Korn Mor IPA, Trend Mister such names have not yet been shown conclusively to predate the 13th century, but there are indications that they may be considerably older. In Greece, the historical name, Uxene C, which holds a different meaning, see below, is still widely used. Greek, Exinos Pontos, e Exinos Pontos, the literal Mavra Thalassa, more Thalassa is less common. Black Sea is one of four seas named in English after common color terms the others being the Red Sea, the White Sea, and the Yellow Sea. Topic. Historical names and etymology Topic. The principal Greek name, Pontos Axinos is generally accepted to be a rendering of Iranian word asterisk axina dark colored compare avestan axina dark colored old persian axina color of turquoise middle persian axin zasin blue and new persian zasin blue as well as ocetic exin dark gray quote closing parenthesis dot the ancient Greeks, most likely those living to the north of the Black Sea, subsequently adopted the name and altered it to a Z -I nose. Thereafter, Greek tradition refers to the Black Sea as the inhospitable sea. Pontos Axinos Pontos Axinos, which is first attested in Pindar c. 475 BC. The name was considered to be ominous, and was later changed into the euphemistic name. Hospitable sea. Euxinos Pontos Euxinos Pontos, which was also for the first time attested in Pindar. This became the commonly used designation for the sea in Greek. In contexts related to mythology, the older form Pontos Axinos remained favored. It has been erroneously suggested that the name was derived from the color of the water, or was at least related to climatic conditions. Black or dark in this context, however, referred to a system in which colors represent the cardinal points of the known world. Black or dark represented the north, red the south, white the west, and green or light blue for the east. The symbolism based on cardinal points was used in multiple occasions and is therefore widely attested. For example, the Red Sea, a body of water reported since the time of Herodotus c. 484 c. 425 BC in fact designated the Indian Ocean, together with bodies of water now known as the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. According to the same explanation and reasoning, it is therefore considered to be impossible for the Scythians, who principally roamed in present-day Ukraine and Russia, to have given the designation because they lived to the north of the sea, which would be therefore be a southern body of water for them. The name could have only been given by people who were aware of both the northern black, dark, and southern red seas. It is therefore considered probable it was given its name by the Achaemenids 550-330 BC. Strabo's Geographica 1.2.10 reports that in antiquity, the Black Sea was often simply called the Sea. Hopontos Hopontos. He also thought the Black Sea was called inhospitable before Greek colonization because it was difficult to navigate and because its shores were inhabited by savage tribes, 7.3.6 the name was changed to hospitable after the Milesians had colonized the Pontus region of the southern shoreline, making it part of Greek civilization. In Greater Bundahishkan, a sacred Zoroastrian text written in Middle Persian, the Black Sea is called Siyabin. A 1570 map of Asia titled Asiae Nova Descriptio from Abraham Ortelius. S. Theatrum Orbis Terrarum labels the Sea Mar Maggior Great Sea, compare Latin Mare Major. English language writers of the 18th century often used the name Uxene Sea or to refer to the Black Sea. Edward Gibbon, for instance, calls the sea by this name throughout the history of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. During the Ottoman Empire period, the Black Sea was called either Bar e Saya or Karadanes. Both meaning the Black Sea. In the Ottoman Turkish, in the 10th century geography book Hudud al Alam, which was written in Persian by an unknown author, the Black Sea is called Georgian Sea, Sea of Georgians. Darya Old Georgian sources of the 9th to 14th centuries, the Georgian Chronicles, used the name Sparis Zagua, Sparis Zagua, which means the Sea of Sperry, after the name of Kartvelian tribe Sparis or Saspers, now in Turkey. The modern names of the Black Sea Chiornoi Mor, Karadanis, etc., originated in the 13th century. <laughs> Geology and bathymetry 
Topic. The geological origins of the basin can be traced back to two distinct relict back arc basins which were initiated by the splitting of an Albion volcanic arc and the subduction of both the Paleo and Neo-Tethys oceans, but the timings of these events remain controversial. Since its initiation, compressional tectonic environments led to subsidence in the basin, interspersed with extensional phases resulting in large-scale volcanism and numerous orogenies, causing the uplift of the Greater Caucasus, Pontides, Southern Crimean Peninsula and Balkanides mountain ranges, the ongoing collision between the Eurasian and African plates and westward escape of the Anatolian bloc along the North Anatolian Fault and East Anatolian Faults dictates the current tectonic regime, which features enhanced subsidence in the Black Sea Basin and significant volcanic activity in the Anatolian region. It is these geological mechanisms which, in the long term, have caused the periodic isolations of the Black Sea from the rest of the global ocean system. The modern basin is divided into two sub-basins by a convexity extending south from the Crimean Peninsula. The large shelf to the north of the basin is up to 190 kilometers, 120 miles wide and features a shallow apron with gradients between 140 and 1 to 1000. The southern edge around Turkey and the eastern edge around Georgia, however, are typified by a narrow shelf that rarely exceeds 20 km 12 miles in width and a steep apron that is typically 140 gradient with numerous submarine canyons and channel extensions. The Uexine abyssal plain in the center of the Black Sea reaches a maximum depth of 2,212 meters (7,257.22 feet) just south of Yalta on the Crimean Peninsula. The littoral zone of the Black Sea is often referred to as the Pontic littoral or Pontic zone. The area surrounding the Black Sea is commonly referred to as the Black Sea region. Its northern part lies within the Chernozem belt, black soil belt which goes from eastern Croatia Slavonia, along the Danube northern Serbia, northern Bulgaria Danubian plain, and southern Romania Wallachian plain, to northeast Ukraine and further across the central Black Earth region and southern Russia into Siberia. Hydrology <inaudible> 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 The Black Sea is a marginal sea and is the world's largest body of water with a Maramictic basin. The deep waters do not mix with the upper layers of water that receive oxygen from the atmosphere. As a result, over 90% of the deeper Black Sea volume is anoxic water. The Black Sea S circulation patterns are primarily controlled by basin topography and fluvial inputs, which result in a strongly stratified vertical structure. Because of the extreme stratification, it is classified as a salt wedge estuary. The Black Sea only experiences water transfer with the Mediterranean Sea, so all inflow and outflow occurs in the Bosphorus and Dardanelles. Inflow from the Mediterranean has a higher salinity and density than the outflow, creating the classical estuarine circulation. This means that inflow of dense water from the Mediterranean occurs at the bottom of the basin while outflow of fresher Black Sea surface water into the Marmara Sea occurs near the surface. Fresher surface water is the product of the fluvial inputs, and this makes the Black Sea a positive sea. The net input of freshwater creates an outflow volume about twice that of the inflow. Evaporation and precipitation are roughly equal at about 300 cubic kilometers per year, 72 cu /m, a. Because of the narrowness and shallowness of the Bosphorus and Dardanelles, their respective depths are only 33 and 70 meters. Inflow and outflow current speeds are high, and there is significant vertical shear. This allows for turbulent mixing of the two layers. Surface water leaves the Black Sea with a salinity of 17 psu and reaches the Mediterranean with a salinity of 34 psu. Likewise, inflow of the Mediterranean with salinity 38.5 psu experiences a decrease to about 34 psu. Mean surface circulation is cyclonic, and waters around the perimeter of the Black Sea circulate in a basin wide shelf break gyre known as the rim current. The rim current has a maximum velocity of about 50 to 100 cm per second. Within this feature, two smaller cyclonic gyres operate, occupying the eastern and western sectors of the basin. The eastern and western gyres are well-organized systems in the winter but dissipate into a series of interconnected eddies in the summer and autumn. Mesoscale activity in the peripheral flow becomes more pronounced during these warmer seasons and is subject to interannual variability. Outside of the rim current, numerous quasi-permanent coastal eddies are formed as a result of upwelling around the coastal apron and wind curl mechanisms. 
The intra-annual strength of these features is controlled by seasonal atmospheric and fluvial variations. During the spring, the Batumi Eddy forms in the southeastern corner of the sea, beneath the surface waters—from about 50 to 100 meters. There exists a halocline that stops at the cold intermediate layer This layer is composed of cool, salty surface waters, which are the result of localized atmospheric cooling and decreased fluvial input during the winter months. It is the remnant of the winter surface mixed layer. The base of the CIL is marked by a major pycnocline at about 100 to 200 meters (330 to 660 feet), and this density disparity is the major mechanism for isolation of the deep water. Below the pycnocline is the deep water mass, where salinity increases to 22.3 psu and temperatures rise to around 8.9 degrees Celsius. The hydrochemical environment shifts from oxygenated to anoxic, as bacterial decomposition of sunken biomass utilizes all of the free oxygen. Weak geothermal heating and long residence time create a very thick convective bottom layer. Hydrochemistry <inaudible> 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 Because of the anoxic water at depth, organic matter, including anthropogenic artifacts such as boat hulls, are well preserved. During periods of high surface productivity, short-lived algal blooms form organic-rich layers known as sapropels. Scientists have reported an annual phytoplankton bloom that can be seen in many NASA images of the region. As a result of these characteristics the Black Sea has gained interest from the field of marine archaeology as ancient shipwrecks in excellent states of preservation have been discovered, such as the Byzantine wreck Sinop D, located in the anoxic layer off the coast of Sinop, Turkey. Modeling shows the release of the hydrogen sulfide clouds in the event of an asteroid impact into the Black Sea would pose a threat to health—or even life. For people living on the Black Sea coast, there have been isolated reports of flares on the Black Sea occurring during thunderstorms, possibly caused by lightning igniting combustible gas seeping up from the sea depths. Ecology Marine the Black Sea supports an active and dynamic marine ecosystem, dominated by species suited to the brackish, nutrient-rich, conditions. As with all marine food webs, the Black Sea features a range of trophic groups, with autotrophic algae, including diatoms and dinoflagellates, acting as primary producers. The fluvial systems draining Eurasia and Central Europe introduce large volumes of sediment and dissolved nutrients into the Black Sea, but distribution of these nutrients is controlled by the degree of physiochemical stratification, which is, in turn, dictated by seasonal physiographic development. During winter, strong wind promotes convective overturning and upwelling of nutrients, while high summer temperatures result in a marked vertical stratification and a warm, shallow mixed layer. Day length and insulation intensity also controls the extent of the photic zone. Subsurface productivity is limited by nutrient availability, as the anoxic bottom waters act as a sink for reduced nitrate, in the form of ammonia. The benthic zone also plays an important role in Black Sea nutrient cycling, as chemosynthetic organisms and anoxic geochemical pathways recycle nutrients which can be upwelled to the photic zone, enhancing productivity. In total, Black Sea S biodiversity contains around one third of Mediterranean S and is experiencing natural and artificial invasions or mediterranizations. Topic: <laughs> Phytoplankton. Topic: The main phytoplankton groups present in the Black Sea are dinoflagellates, diatoms, cucolithophores, and cyanobacteria. Generally, the annual cycle of phytoplankton development comprises significant diatom and dinoflagellate-dominated spring production, followed by a weaker mixed assemblage of community development below the seasonal thermocline during summer months and a surface-intensified autumn production. This pattern of productivity is also augmented by an Emiliania Huxley bloom during the late spring and summer months. Dinoflagellates annual dinoflagellate distribution is defined by an extended bloom period in subsurface waters during the late spring and summer. In November, subsurface plankton production is combined with surface production due to vertical mixing of water masses and nutrients such as nitrite. The major bloom forming dinoflagellate species in the Black Sea is Gymnodinium sp. 
Estimates of dinoflagellate diversity in the Black Sea range from 193 to 267 species. This level of species richness is relatively low in comparison to the Mediterranean Sea, which is attributable to the brackish conditions, low water transparency and presence of anoxic bottom waters. It is also possible that the low winter temperatures below 4 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit of the Black Sea prevent thermophilus species from becoming established. The relatively high organic matter content of Black Sea surface water favor the development of heterotrophic an organism which uses organic carbon for growth and mixotrophic dinoflagellate species able to exploit different trophic pathways, relative to autotrophs. Despite its unique hydrographic setting, there are no confirmed endemic dinoflagellate species in the Black Sea. Diatoms The Black Sea is populated by many species of marine diatom, which commonly exist as colonies of unicellular, non modal auto and heterotrophic algae. The life cycle of most diatoms can be described as boom and bust, and the Black Sea is no exception, with diatom blooms occurring in surface waters throughout the year, most reliably during March. In simple terms, the phase of rapid population growth in diatoms is caused by the inwash of silicon-bearing terrestrial sediments, and when the supply of silicon is exhausted, the diatoms begin to sink out of the photic zone and produce resting cysts. Additional factors such as predation by zooplankton and ammonium-based regenerated production also have a role to play in the annual diatom cycle. Typically, Probasia alata blooms during spring and Pseudocelenia calcar avis blooms during the autumn. Coccolithophorescocolithophores are a type of modal, autotrophic phytoplankton that produce calcium carbonate plates, known as coccoliths, as part of their life cycle. In the Black Sea, the main period of coccolithophore growth occurs after the bulk of the dinoflagellate growth has taken place. In May, the dinoflagellates move below the seasonal thermocline, into deeper waters, where more nutrients are available. This permits coccolithophores to utilize the nutrients in the upper waters, and by the end of May, with favorable light and temperature conditions, growth rates reach their highest. The major bloom-forming species is Emiliania huxley, which is also responsible for the release of dimethyl sulfide into the atmosphere. Overall, coccolithophore diversity is low in the Black Sea, and although recent sediments are dominated by E. Huxley, Brarudosphera bigelowi, Holocene sediments have also been shown to contain Helicopendosphera and Discolathena species. Cyanobacteria Cyanobacteria are a phylum of picoplanktonic plankton ranging in size from 0.2 to 2.0 micrometers bacteria that obtain their energy via photosynthesis, and are present throughout the world's oceans. They exhibit a range of morphologias, including filamentous colonies and biofilms. In the Black Sea, several species are present, and as an example, Synecococcus spp. can be found throughout the photic zone, although concentration decreases with increasing depth. Other factors which exert an influence on distribution include nutrient availability, predation and salinity. <laughs> Animal species. Topic. Zebra mussled Black Sea along with the Caspian Sea is part of the zebra mussel's native range. The mussel has been accidentally introduced around the world and become an invasive species where it has been introduced. Common carp The common carp's native range extends to the Black Sea along with the Caspian Sea and Aral Sea. Like the zebra mussel the common carp is an invasive species when introduced to other habitats, round gobius another native fish that is also found in the Caspian Sea. It preys upon zebra mussels. Like the mussels and common carp it has become invasive when introduced to other environments, like the Great Lakes, marine mammals and marine megafaunas. Marine mammals present within the basin include two species of dolphins common and, bottlenose, and harbor porpoise inhabit the sea although all of these are endangered due to pressures and impacts by human activities. All the three species have been classified as a distinct subspecies from those in the Mediterranean and in Atlantic seas and endemic to Black and Azov seas, and are more active during nights in Turkish Straits. However, construction of the Crimean Bridge caused increases in nutrients and planktons in the waters, attracting large numbers of fish and more than 1,000 bottlenose dolphins. On the other hand, however, others claim that construction may cause devastating damages on ecosystem including dolphins. Critically endangered Mediterranean monk seals were historically abundant in Black Sea, and are regarded to have become extinct from the basin in 1997. 
Monk seals were present at the Snake Island until 1950s, and several locations such as the Danube Plavni Nature Reserve and Dogonkant were last of hauling out sites in post-1990. Very few animals still thrive in the Sea of Marmara. Ongoing Mediterranizations may or may not boost in increases of cetacean diversity in Turkish Straits hence in Black and Azov basins. Various species of pinnipeds, sea otter, and beluga whales were introduced into the Black Sea by mankind and later escaped either by accidental or purported causes. Of these, grey seal and beluga whales have been recorded with successful, long-term occurrences. Great white sharks are known to reach into the Sea of Marmara and Bosphorus Strait and basking shark into Dardanelles although it is unclear whether or not these sharks may reach into the Black and Azov basins. Ecological effects of pollution since the 1960s, rapid industrial expansion along the Black Sea coastline and the construction of a major dam has significantly increased annual variability in the N. cheeky smiley face, sea ratio in the basin. In coastal areas, the biological effect of these changes has been an increase in the frequency of monospecific phytoplankton blooms, with diatom bloom frequency increasing by a factor of 2.5 and non-diatom bloom frequency increasing by a factor of 6. The non-diatoms, such as the primnegeophytes Emiliania huxley Coccolithophore, Chromulina sp., and the euglenophyte Eutrepsia lanoi are able to outcompete diatom species because of the limited availability of C, a necessary constituent of diatom frustules. As a consequence of these blooms, benthic macrophyte populations were deprived of light, while anoxia caused mass mortality in marine animals. The decline in macrophytes was further compounded by overfishing during the 1970s, while the invasive Cetinophore nemeopsis reduced the biomass of copods and other zooplankton in the late 1980s. Additionally, an alien species the warty comb jelly nemeopsis lady was able to establish itself in the basin, exploding from a few individuals to an estimated biomass of 1 billion metric tons. The change in species composition in Black Sea waters also has consequences for hydrochemistry, as Ca producing cucolithophores influence salinity and pH, although these ramifications have yet to be fully quantified. In central Black Sea waters, sea levels were also significantly reduced, due to a decrease in the flux of sea associated with advection across isopycnal surfaces. This phenomenon demonstrates the potential for localized alterations in Black Sea nutrient input to have basin-wide effects. Pollution reduction and regulation efforts have led to a partial recovery of the Black Sea ecosystem during the 1990s, and an EU monitoring exercise, EROS 21, revealed decreased N and P values, relative to the 1989 peak. Recently, scientists have noted signs of ecological recovery, in part due to the construction of new sewage treatment plants in Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria in connection with membership in the European Union. Nemeopsis lady populations have been checked with the arrival of another alien species which feeds on them. Terrestrial <inaudible> 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 In the past, the range of the Asiatic lion extended from South Asia to the Balkans, possibly up to the Danube. Places like Turkey and the Trans-Caucasus were in this range. The Caspian tiger occurred in eastern Turkey and the Caucasus, at least. The Lyuti Zvir Old Russian for fierce animal, that was encountered by Vladimir II Monomach, Veliki Nyas of Kievan Rus, which ranged to the Black Sea in the south, may have been a tiger or leopard, rather than a wolf or lynx, due to the way it behaved towards him and his horse. Climate Short term climatic variation in the Black Sea region is significantly influenced by the operation of the North Atlantic Oscillation, the climatic mechanisms resulting from the interaction between the North Atlantic and mid latitude air masses. While the exact mechanisms causing the North Atlantic Oscillation remain unclear, it is thought the climate conditions established in Western Europe mediate the heat and precipitation fluxes reaching Central Europe and Eurasia, regulating the formation of winter cyclones, which are largely responsible for regional precipitation inputs and influence Mediterranean sea surface temperatures SSTs. .The relative strength of these systems also limits the amount of cold air arriving from northern regions during winter. 
Other influencing factors include the regional topography, as depressions and storms systems arriving from the Mediterranean are funneled through the low land around the Bosphorus, Pontic and Caucasus mountain ranges acting as wave guides, limiting the speed and paths of cyclones passing through the region. Islands <inaudible> <inaudible> There are some islands in the Black Sea that belong to Bulgaria, Romania, Turkey, and Ukraine. St. Thomas Island, Bulgaria St. Anastasia Island, Bulgaria St. Syracuse Island, Bulgaria St. Ivan Island, Bulgaria St. Peter Island, Bulgaria Sakhalinu Mare Island, Romania Sakhalinu Mike Island, Romania Masora, Novaya Zemlya, Romania and Ukraine Utrecht Island Krapinen Island Sudiak Island Kefkan Island Oreke Island Goresun Island D. Zarlgach Island, Ukraine Zeminyi Snake Island, Ukraine Topic. History Topic. Topic. Mediterranean connection during the Holocene The Black Sea is connected to the World Ocean by a chain of two shallow straits, the Dardanelles and the Bosphorus. The Dardanelles is 55 metres feet deep and the Bosphorus is as shallow as 36 metres feet. By comparison, at the height of the last ice age, sea levels were more than 100 metres feet lower than they are now. There is also evidence that water levels in the Black Sea were considerably lower at some point during the post-glacial period. Some researchers theorize that the Black Sea had been a landlocked freshwater lake at least in upper layers during the last glaciation and for some time after. In the aftermath of the last glacial period, water levels in the Black Sea and the Aegean Sea rose independently until they were high enough to exchange water. The exact timeline of this development is still subject to debate. One possibility is that the Black Sea filled first, with excess fresh water flowing over the Bosphorus Sill and eventually into the Mediterranean Sea. There are also catastrophic scenarios, such as the Black Sea Deluge Theory, put forward by William Ryan, Walter Pittman and Petko Dimitrov. <laughs> Deluge hypothesis the Black Sea Deluge is a hypothesized catastrophic rise in the level of the Black Sea circa 5600 BC due to waters from the Mediterranean Sea breaching a sill in the Bosporus Strait. The hypothesis was headlined when the New York Times published it in December 1996, shortly before it was published in an academic journal. While it is agreed that the sequence of events described did occur, there is debate over the suddenness, dating and magnitude of the events. Relevant to the hypothesis is that its description has led some to connect this catastrophe with prehistoric flood myths. Topic. Recorded history Topic. The Black Sea was a busy waterway on the crossroads of the ancient world, the Balkans to the west, the Eurasian steppes to the north, Caucasus and Central Asia to the east, Asia Minor and Mesopotamia to the south, and Greece to the southwest. The oldest processed gold in the world was found in Varna, Bulgaria, and the Black Sea was supposedly sailed by the Argonauts. The land at the eastern end of the Black Sea, Colchis, now Georgia, marked for the Greeks the edge of the known world. The steppes to the north of the Black Sea have been suggested as the original homeland or heimat of the speakers of the Proto-Indo-European language, Pi the progenitor of the Indo-European language family, by some scholars such as Maria Gimbutas, others move the heartland further east towards the Caspian Sea, yet others to Anatolia. The Black Sea became an Ottoman navy lake within five years of Genoa losing the Crimea in 1479, after which the only western merchant vessels to sail its waters were those of Venice's old rival Ragusa. This restriction was gradually changed by the Russian navy from 1783 until the relaxation of export controls in 1789 because of the French Revolution. The Black Sea was a significant naval theater of World War I and saw both naval and land battles during World War II. Topic. Archaeology Topic. 
Ancient trade routes in the region are currently being extensively studied by scientists, as the Black Sea was sailed by Hittites, Carians, Colchians, Thracians, Greeks, Persians, Cimmerians, Scythians, Romans, Byzantines, Goths, Huns, Avars, Slavs, Varangians, Crusaders, Venetians, Genoese, Georgians, Tatars and Ottomans. Perhaps the most promising areas in deepwater archaeology are the quest for submerged prehistoric settlements in the continental shelf and for ancient shipwrecks in the anoxic zone, which are expected to be exceptionally well preserved due to the absence of oxygen. This concentration of historical powers, combined with the preservative qualities of the deep anoxic waters of the Black Sea, has attracted increased interest from marine archaeologists who have begun to discover a large number of ancient ships and organic remains in a high state of preservation. Topic. Modern use Topic. Topic. Commercial and civic use Topic. According to NATO, the Black Sea is a strategic corridor that provides smuggling channels for moving legal and illegal goods including drugs, radioactive materials, and counterfeit goods that can be used to finance terrorism. Topic. Navigation Topic. Topic. Ports and ferry terminals Topic. According to the International Transport Workers Federation 2013 study, there were at least 30 operating merchant seaports in the Black Sea including at least 12 in Ukraine. Topic. Merchant fleet and traffic Topic. According to the International Transport Workers Federation 2013 study, there were around 2,400 commercial vessels operating in the Black Sea. Topic. Fishing Topic. Anchovy, the Turkish commercial fishing fleet catches around 300,000 tons per year on average, and fishery carried out mainly in winter and the highest portion of the stock is caught between November and December. <laughs> Hydrocarbons exploration Since the 1980s, the Soviet Union started offshore drilling for petroleum in the sea's western portion adjoining Ukraine. Coast. The independent Ukraine continued and intensified that effort within its exclusive economic zone, inviting major international oil companies for exploration. Discovery of the new, massive oilfields in the area stimulated an influx of foreign investments. It also provoked a short-term peaceful territorial dispute with Romania which was resolved in 2011 by an international court redefining the exclusive economic zones between the two countries. Topic. Holiday resorts and spas Topic. In the years following the end of the Cold War, the popularity of the Black Sea as a tourist destination steadily increased. Tourism at Black Sea resorts became one of the region's growth industries. The following is a list of notable Black Sea resort towns. Topic. Modern military use Topic. Topic. International and military use of the Straits Topic. The 1936 Montreux Convention provides for a free passage of civilian ships between the international waters of the Black and the Mediterranean Seas. However, a single country Turkey has a complete control over the Straits connecting the two seas. The 1982 amendments to the Montreux Convention allow Turkey to close the straits at its discretion in both wartime and peacetime. The 1936 Montreux Convention governs the passage of vessels between the Black and the Mediterranean Seas and the presence of military vessels belonging to non-literal states in the Black Sea waters. 
Topic Trans Sea Cooperation Topic Topic Sea Alsa Topic Black Sea Portal 1927 Crimean Earthquakes Ancient Black Sea Shipwrecks Anoxic Event Bulgarian Black Sea Coast Caucasian Riviera Internationalization of the Danube River Karadanis Technical University Kuma Manich Depression Mount Aachen Romanian Black Sea Resorts Topic References Topic Topic Informational Notes Topic Topic Citations Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Gervas Stella 2017 The Black Sea in Armitage, D. Bashford, S. Oceanic Histories. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 234-266. doi.10.1017.9781111.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1017.1